Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. We're back making vlogs in Disney around the world. The week break was nice, but honestly, I missed all of y'all. Today, we're at Animal Kingdom celebrating Earth Month. Earth Day is April 22nd, but Disney's trying something new this month where they're celebrating, you know, all 30-something days, I think, or 20-something. Regardless, there's a lot of new snacks that I want to try. Always making new friends. What's your names? Vinny. Uh, Kiani. Teresa. Tell them your name. Done. Nice to meet you guys. Nice. Now, did you enjoy your day in Animal Kingdom? Yeah. I saw you guys heading out. Yeah? yeah. Where are you headed now? That's the back resort. To the nice. Grand Floridian. Yeah. Jell, I was just staying at the Grand Floridian actually. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into the park right around one o'clock, which means the sun's hitting the tree when you come in. Perfect time to get that photo with your family or friends, maybe girlfriend. If I ever have a kid, I'm gonna make him such a big Stitch fan. Like, look at this hat. If I wasn't just coming in for the day and I was having a full theme park like vacation, this would be mine right now. We got some new Lion King pins celebrating the 30th anniversary. I blame my mom for making me look into gift stores more recently, but like there's so much stuff I would totally buy. Like I can see why Disney makes so much money on merch. Look how cute. I think one of the biggest sellers right now are these weighted plushies. You got the snowman from Everest, Olaf. Gumbo. Seriously, I need your guys' opinions in the comments. Do you guys like the whole Munchling line? I was there when they announced it real time, but like, I like it. I don't really care too much, but I mean, some of them are really cute, like the Baymax S'more. I didn't know they made ornaments, though. I mean, they're cute, right? Now, it is only April 2nd, so I don't think they've released any of their Earth Day merchandise for 2024 yet. But over the next couple weeks, I'm sure we'll see something. I know a lot of you appreciated my pin trading like competition that we did a couple of months ago. I gotta get all the boys to do that again. I don't see any pins here I really like, and honestly, I don't got pins to trade. Just because there isn't any new merchandise just yet doesn't mean we can't celebrate the Earth, you know? I'm gonna try to be here for April 22nd, so if you haven't already subscribed, but I might be somewhere else. That's a hint. Might be going somewhere, not sure yet, but I do want to do something related to Animal Kingdom. Hopefully a ride, but more importantly, I gotta see some animals, you know? Oh wow, would you look at that? It's a Russell. <laughs> you haven't been able to meet him here in a pretty long time. Usually he's on the boats, but I heard that about three weeks ago. He started doing meet and greets again, which is awesome. I've never actually met him. Russell, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Good, good. Oh, hug? Yeah, let's get a hug. Ah, <laughs> good to see you. You know, I'm celebrating Earth Month today. So like, what's one thing I should do? You know, you're a wilderness explorer, okay? Oh, wilderness explorer, God, like, oh, so go around and get all the wilderness explorer badges to celebrate Earth Day. Got you. That makes sense. <laughs> hey, can you say hi to Doug for me too? I can't wait to see both of you together soon. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a squirrel. We gotta, I'll, if I see him, I'll let him know that there's a squirrel right over here for him. <laughs> oh, and ball. Okay, so you're ready to play. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> that made me so happy. I love meeting characters. When I don't meet characters after a certain amount of time just because the lines have been so long recently, I forget how much joy it brings me. So even if you're an adult and people make fun of you, if you want to meet a character, Go meet them. Don't feel bad about it. It really adds to the Disney experience. Speaking about Disney experiences, one of my favorite things at Animal Kingdom is about to pop off. It's time for the dance party. You know how it is. I already got some dances going. Wait, they're having so much fun. Man, I kind of wish my sister was here right now. That's so much fun. Oh, let's go. The party is here. Everyone's ready to go. I've never seen them come on to the actual floor and dance with us. I guess this is how they kind of get the party activated. Hey, uh. <laughs> I don't know. Animal Kingdom is definitely one of my favorites for sure. Hey, uh. So it seems like they actually have some special entertainment starting in Animal Kingdom for Earth Day, April 21st till the end of the month. And that's why Russell was saying the badge because actually giving a special Earth Day Wilderness Explorers badge. So if you guys are planning your trip and coming around that time, make sure you check this stuff out. There's gonna be some special characters walking around. As of right now, the only Earth Day thing that they got really going on is treats. And that's perfectly fine with me because I need to eat. I started dancing a little bit and I got lightheaded and I reminded myself that, oh shoot, 
you haven't eaten today. That's why you can't dance right now. Always making new friends. What's your name? Brett. And? Bailey. That's crazy. So you've been watching since Disney College program. Yep. Yep. That, you know that's like four or five years ago now. Yes. yes. Dang. That's a lot of time. I, I appreciate you for no keeping problem. up. <laughs> this is more of a deep cut, but the golden margarita here, it used to be the golden margarita for the 50th anniversary. One day, me and a few friends had a little too many of them. Also, I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's not that big of a story, but it did involve Kai Tails. Low key, I miss shows over there in that big water area. I mean, Kai Tails was a meme, but I enjoyed it. So at Pizza Fari and Restaurant Source, you can get this next treat. Why is there a basketball hoop up there? You know, I've never actually bought anything from this place. I've never eaten here until today. If anybody knows the theming of this place, please let me know. You can see some lawn chairs up there, arrows. Uh, it seems pretty funky. It's crazy that I've been doing vlogging for like five years and I've never walked foot in here. Actually, that's a lie. I've been to the bathroom because I used to clean it as a custodial. Fossils. Da, da, da. So this is one of their traditional snacks that they have, s'mores shake. But this is what we're looking at, the elephant cupcake. Celebrating Earth Month and the Magnificence Intelligent Elephant. This cupcake features a delicious edible white chocolate elephant atop a graham cracker cupcake with pineapple filling. And here it is. Our, oh my. No! Why did I do that? This is why I don't vlog in cupcake. Sad. Each dining room is heavily themed. Look at that. Dino Institution. Uh, Frisbee. <laughs> Little Easter egg to the ride. I mean, there's a ton of stuff up here. Probably you guys might get some references, or maybe it's just for fun. The Golden Trowel Award. You have like a little RV area right here, like a mobile home, another basketball, dinosaur extinction, the fire extinction, get it? Yeah, slow 65 miles. There's a lot of cool details in here official sparking only unauthorized meteors will be towed away dinos this is nuts <laughs> this is fun i again like this is the stuff i love about disney because i've been here for so long and i'm still finding new things each and every day now here is the elephant now something i forgot to mention is that it has matcha as well look at that it's a jungle of green matcha under it and then you got some pearls this is like cool to look at, but probably hard to eat. Should grab a fork, definitely. All right, well, you're gonna watch me struggle to eat this. I really don't know. Like, I can't even pull off the thing pretty. I'm losing pearls. Okay, we're just gonna dig into it. Fork. Uh, cream stick, matcha stick. Oh, I see the white chocolate in here. No, that's not, oh, ah. Elephant saved it. I don't know if I'm hungry, but that's absolutely delicious. Wow, the cream with the matcha and the cupcake base. It's fluffy. It's not like, you know, stale. Yeah. Okay. I'm enjoying this so much more because I'm using a fork. Okay, this I can use my hand though. White chocolate elephant. Elephant's okay. Kind of a bummer. Stego, dying of thirst. This is so sick. That uh, cupcake was really good. I'm happy with it. Like, I've had some cupcakes that's been pretty disappointing, but overall, um, I definitely recommend you guys trying it out if you're here during Earth Day. It was good, good flavor. They even got a dino pinata. Wait, there's random dice again. Okay, I'm gonna go, wait, there's a whole like little, uh, I forgot the name of the sport, but they got the net right there. I don't know guys. I'm gonna go home and look up the details of this place by myself because this is actually so detailed. Bonehead award. That goes to me. No, like seriously, what the heck? <laughs> they have a whole second floor where someone lives up there. They got a bed, a desk to do their research about dinos, I presume. Big dino up there. Tomorrow's Hawaiian shirt day with a freaking dinosaur holding a drink. What a vibe. Also keys. Um, I don't know, you have to bring them to the beach next weekend. Jenny, what is going on here? Poker? Guys, that's a, literally a letter from the Dino Institute, from Dr. Bernard Dern, or Dunn. Sad that ride's leaving soon, or I don't want it to leave. I don't want it to leave, you know what? After seeing this restaurant, I don't want the restaurant to go. I mean, the ride to go. Always making new friends. What's your name? Hi, my name is 
and I'm Tyler. Nice to meet you guys. They recognize me from the vlog, but I recognize you because you got a Royal Caribbean jersey on. I love that. You guys having a good day? Yeah. Have you been here before? You've never been to Animal. I went when I was like two or something. Oh wow. Okay. I haven't been here in a while. So, so is Animal Kingdom like dope? It's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. I went on Avatar. It was like a long was, line, but it was worth it. It definitely. I agree. It goes from like a little party room to studying to like base camp in the trenches, you know? <laughs> With all this uh, dirt and handprints. Yeah, I don't know. But the coolest thing about this is that Restaurant of Source is over there. That's where we just went. There's some tools, random tools. I don't know what's going on, but if you make your way through here, I believe, is it here? Oh, this is another eating area. Oh, there it is. Across the way, there's a bar. Restaurant of Source Lounge. I've been here with Dan before and many other friends. Swoozy, I think, as well. Pretty cool. I think that guy has given me a drink before, too. Now, this isn't exclusive to this bar, but around Animal Kingdom, they serve the Honey Bee Citrus Blonde Ale. That's what the can looks like. There's the drink. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate you. Please catalog these Jenny details everywhere I look. I just never really paid attention to it. Pretty cool. Bones. Okie dokie, first drink in Disney in a while. By the way, the staycation I did the other day at the Grand Floridian, that was filmed before I took my break. If you haven't already, go watch that vlog. It's definitely one of my favorites just because we were having such a fun day. Anytime, like, plans are unexpected and it turns out really good, can't be mad. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh yeah, it's smooth. Not too much of a flavor. I, I thought it was going to be a little sweeter. But I'm not mad about it. I like this. I'm going to drink it all. I'm going to drink it all. Always making new friends. What's your names, guys? I'm Brynn. And I'm Emily. where are you guys from? Uh, Montana. Oh, actually. Wait, what? why are your drinks glowing, though? What's happening here? We honestly here? don't know. Jimmy made them for us. Jimmy made them and he won't tell us. Oh, I love that. Is it good? <laughs> it's it is good. It's like the mocktail. Oh, I love that. Wait, you know, this month is actually like alcohol awareness month. So like, I love how you guys are having a mocktail right now. That's perfect. <laughs> so I was actually just talking to my Patreon. I posted some special stuff there. If you want to join, it's a great way to support me. Link down below. But they were like, hey, we've never eaten here because there's bad food. We've never been enticed to come here. And I agree, the food is very basic here. There's nothing really to come here for compared to like Satuli Canteen. But the theming is great. It's unfortunate that this place is plagued with not the best food. But it's important to note <laughs> that Dinosaur is leaving us soon. Indiana Jones will most likely take over the theming of this ride, which personally I'm really sad about because when this gets changed, all of Dino Land is gonna get changed. So that bar that we were just at with all the cool dino stuff, it's gonna go away, which now I'm more mad about just because I think the theming is very unique and different. So if you haven't already, take your time, come here, check out that place. Even if you just wanna grab a quick cupcake, it's worth the visit. Now we actually might find out more about what's gonna actually happen to this area when D23 goes down in a couple of months, but it will be sad to see this place leave. I truly do like the theming, but I also understand why they're getting rid of it. But like, you know, the characters, where are we gonna be able to meet characters? Are they gonna be walking out in adventure outfits? Maybe. Some people said that this could be an Encanto re-theming, but I really don't trust anything until I actually see it getting built. Like, we're gonna lose Triceratops spin. R.I.P. <laughs> Had to say a quick hello to Donald. Donald, you're number one, you know that, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at him. Have a good day, buddy. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I remember back in the day when Dinoland was like bustling and he'd get mobbed. I actually used to work custodial here and I remember I used to clean uh, here and the shack right there. Oh my god, it's Daisy. The shack is right back there so Daisy would like come by and say hello as I'm getting my broom cleaned. Slay Queen, Daisy, you're amazing. I love your fashion. Yes, girl. <laughs> Wait, the games are lit today. We have a full party over there. We have another squad over here. The more people play, the higher the prize is. I've never won here. And I'm not gonna try today because I need my friends to play with me. We'll come back soon. Oh, oh, let's see who wins here though. Hold on. I'm gonna, oh, was it left? It's always the other side. It's actually like really hot outside. I should have put on sunscreen. That's the first smell I noticed coming into the park today was sunscreen. 
And uh, oh my gosh, Mount Everest is at a 90 minute wait. Yeah, at 323, that's really long. I swear I came here a couple of weeks ago during spring break when it was first starting. And at four o'clock, it was only like a 50 minute wait. So is spring break even still happening? Like when do we stop saying it's spring break? Now this is crazy. Cali River Rapids. It was closed last time I was here. It's at a 125 minute wait. I haven't seen a three digit wait time in a long time. Now I was talking to the cast members, we think it's more of like an hour 30, definitely not 125, that's crazy. The fact that people are walking into that, I, I mean I get it, if you're here on vacation, you got one day, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my gosh, monkeys in action, it's swinging, yo, get it. <laughs> he looks like he's having so much fun, I wanna do that. Was I a monkey in a different life? Cause like, yeah, I don't know. A monkey in Disney World, seems like a fun time if you ask me. Oh, there he goes, he's walking away. I love that. Now listen, the best part about this ride is not even the ride itself. It's the fact that you have these free water guns where you can shoot people if they look at us. Look at us, come on, get them wet. Get them wet. Yeah, we got them. I don't know, if you ever feel bad about your day, just come to Animal Kingdom and <laughs> get other people wet. Let's try one more time. Yeah. Oh, man. I could have shot it a little bit earlier. See, the cool thing is that people get stuck. Oh yeah, there you go. That guy, that guy's just getting rained on right now. Keep going! <laughs> just keep going! <laughs> I think the, the right gun's definitely better. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, do it, go crazy, get him, get him, get him. Yo, look at that. Aha. I don't know, I could literally spend an hour playing with this button. So with us celebrating Earth Month, we're gonna go through the jungle trek right here. I know some of you guys wanted to see it last time when I was in Animal Kingdom, so this will be fun. It's a walking attraction. By the way, when you're walking in, you can see Maleficent along all the other newspaper clips on the ceiling. A little hidden character. Oh my gosh, it's a real life dinosaur. <laughs> like, it actually looks like a dinosaur. I'm pretty sure it's like an iguana or a lizard. Tia, that's her name. Tia's chilling. She was like, hey, I want to be on the vlog. Look at her go. That's crazy. That's an actual dinosaur. You can't convince me that's not a dinosaur. Lion tail macaques, Emily, and I don't remember the other two. They're three sisters. They're chilling. Look at all the, I haven't seen them so like just out in front of the cameras like this. We're making our way into the tiger forest. See if we can find some kitties. Unfortunately, we just missed the tiger. He was prouncing around, running around. There was a ton of people here, but they're actually trading spots from, you know, like yard to like their backstage area right now. Maybe you'll be luckier I mean, this area that was very pretty for sure. We got a tiger. Jeet would absolutely hate this location right now. Just a bunch of birds flying around. Chirpy chirp. It's really pretty though. Oh, look at them over here. There's so many. I've been here a decent amount of times, but I always forget like what the actual trek is like. So I'm glad I came here today. Celebrating Earth. Look at Earth. Nature. Look at that birdie. He's kind of chunky. <laughs> I feel like I could pick him up and like throw him like a baseball. Oh, and you a little birdie down there, too. What kind of bird is that? So she is a Victoria Crown Pigeon. Victoria Crown Pigeon. I like her eyes. Very cool. Now, the male does look a lot like her. We, we just basically can tell it's the male or the female based on their band colors. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. Blue for girl, and the, blue will have, uh, the boy will have Happy your own adventures. Find your own favorite animals, and truly appreciate nature. So, on behalf of all of us, We caught the tail end of Feathered Friends in Flight, a bald eagle. That was cool, I didn't know they had one of those. The Tiger Eye Goldale. Now, because I already had this one, I'm good. I'll come back another day for this one. If I wasn't saving my stomach for something new, I would get Mr. Kamal's fries. They're so good, I want them. I might come back after the vlog for these. Dang, I must have come on a slow day, because right now, the safari truck is at a 65 minute wait with the line going out the door. 
Is this peak spring break, you know? Maybe it is. Well, I guess because you had Easter break too. We have another first time today because we're at the Dawa bar. Now, I didn't want another drink, but they have the Wazi Wave, which is for uh, Earth Month right there. We're gonna try this. This drink has Patriot Bay coconut rum, bold blue Ciroc liqueur, sour mix, pineapple juice garnished with a pineapple wedge. Now, I did ask the bartender if they had pineapples and they never got them. So again, it's a new drink and they just haven't been able to get pineapples apparently. So when you guys try it for yourself, Hopefully have pineapples. With that being said, let's try this. It is so busy, I was not able to find a seat at the bar. Families are taking up every table. But that's Disney, you know? So, anyway. Oh yeah! Wow. Wow. If you told me this wasn't an alcoholic drink, I'd believe you. It's very sweet. Obviously, with that rum and the pineapple juice, you do not taste any alcohol. This is a dangerous drink. Um, and less of a dangerous drink for me, because of alcohol. I have a very high tolerance over the last three years of trying different drinks in Disney and theme parks, but it's just so sugary. I feel like if I had two of these drinks, I'd have like a stomach ache for the next two days. Either way, it's good. I like it. It's sweet. If you like sweet cocktails, you're gonna love this. And look at the color, it's so cute. It's so earthy. <laughs> Always making new friends. What's your name? Jonathan. Your name's Jonathan? My name is Jonathan. It's a perfect name. Oh my gosh, that literally, you know Jonathan means gift from God? Did you, you guys definitely are. <laughs> <laughs> we got them, we got some performers out in Africa. I love these guys, their vibe. We got some performers out here in Africa. I love these guys, they are such a vibe. They really get like the people going. <laughs> Yo! Hey. 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 Yo. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I love this. I could do this every day. I want this to be my gym workout. Photo Pass does have fun Earth Month opportunities. I was told that this is a really good spot for those said special pictures. There's no photo pass right now. I think they're already done for today. But definitely stop by here in the morning. You can get the tree in the background, get some extra magic. Obviously, you can get some good photos in the front of the tree. I haven't been down here in a while. It's very tranquil. And it's a really, really, really nice picture of the tree. Darn it, what I wanted is closed. Terra Treats usually serves pizza and here, during this month, they have roasted mushroom and leek pizza, impossible meatballs, roasted mushrooms, braised leeks, and a dash of truffle oil. That sounds amazing, but they close at freaking three o'clock. I missed it by an hour. I didn't know that. At least you guys know. Did you know that each Starbucks has their own like unique name here? It's Creature Comforts. If you think about it, it definitely is a comfort for creatures like us. Starbucks coffee. Thank you so much for uh, making our way in here. Oh my gosh. It is packed in here. At Starbucks, they're selling the honeycomb mousse for $6.79. It looks good, but again, there's actually a really long line, so I'm not gonna get it today. Maybe another day. They seem to be selling out. Yeah, I think this is the last one of the day. As of right now, we don't have any fun murals on this gate. They usually put something here. You know, during Christmas, you see the cute creatures during the 50th anniversary, there was a bunch of rainbow characters on here. Now nothing. I'm curious if they might add something for Earth Day. I mean, again, the month just started. It's April 2nd. For this Earth Day, there's not that much new food. We had some new drinks, but the new food you can actually find at Tiffin's Restaurant. That's pretty expensive. You need a reservation. Unfortunately, I'm not going to go there today, but I might sometime in this month of Krista or friends. Uh, they have the zucchini. Carpaccio, the land, zucchini, marinated tomatoes, uh, pistachios, olives, plant-based feta, pomegranate, molasses, and crispy sweet potato. It's plant-based, it's new, that sounds amazing. And then we have the pacha durum and pollinator. So one new drink, one new food item in Tiffin's. And right next to Tiffin's, we have Nomad's Lounge, which also has a drink. Let's check that out. Fun fact, Tiffin's and Nomad's Lounge actually share the same kitchen so you can get the new drink as well from here 
Now, it's a walk-up service. You can get a, you know, a wait time. Or maybe if you're lucky, you can walk up to the bar. Let's see if the bar is open. Come on, Disney gods. Oh, yes. The bar is open. So we are good to go. I've had some really good times here with my uncle, my sister, my friends. I miss this place. I don't come here that much. I feel like I was coming here like every day in 2022. But this is the first time in 2023. Wait, it's 2024, that's crazy. <laughs> first time in 2024 that I'm here. I don't even remember the last time I was here in 2023. It's good memories. I wanna be here with friends. I'm sad that everyone's working today. Most of the time, if you see me by myself, it's just because my friends have actual jobs, you know, nine to fives, and I gotta still vlog, but I'm having a good time with you guys. Not gonna lie, if I realized there's gonna be so many new drinks, I would have saved this video to do it with Kevin, Matt, and Ferris, but we have the Pachadium and Pollinator, Cruxland Gin, Bitters, Soda Water with a Lemon Wheel, and Honey Simple Syrup. My favorite part is definitely the bees in there. Like, that's so cute. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like wasting food. I try to eat all of it, but when it comes to all of these drinks today, unless this drink is like absolutely amazing, I might have to throw it out just because I'm not trying to catch a buzz today. There are new things in the park, but like the new new things are either located in Tiffins or Nomads, and I didn't realize it. This is the last item on the new Earth Month menu. So that being said, cheers guys, thanks for watching. Let's uh... Ooh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a little strong, but it's not like overpowering. It's giving me like a floral taste which that's not everyone's cup of tea. Personally, after that really sweet cocktail that I might have thrown out, don't hate me, I'm, again, trying to be responsible. Um, this is a nice, like, cleanser, honestly. Like, this is something I'd prefer. I'd like this drink over the other one. But then again, any drink at Nomads, I'd, I'd go for it. Like, these menus are amazing. The food is amazing, and I promised myself I wasn't gonna get food, but I just ordered something. This is not for Earth Month, but man, am I excited. This is the Poke Bowl. It looks uh, good. The one thing about Poke Bowls is that it looks really cute, but you gotta mix it in and get all the flavor. Let's go ahead and try this. Now for $16, this is actually a lot of food. I think last time I ordered this, it was like a smaller portion. Usually it's kind of snacks here, but this feels like a full meal right now. And I haven't eaten anything other than the snacks I've had, so. Mm. The sauce is amazing, the flavor is amazing. The tuna tastes great. I will say it's the sauce and like the marinated onions or something. There might not be onions in this. Oh yeah. I'm gonna eat this all. Ending off our day with something fun. This is a hang tag, basically. You can donate as much money as you want. You can write something fun on it and then they hang it on the ceilings up there or maybe over there on that wall over there. And it's fun because, again, they just match your money, so I'm gonna write a nice little message. What should I write? Actually, I know exactly what I'm gonna write. As I say in all of my videos, and most of them, if I don't pass out before I end the video, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And I sign my name. Woo! I always see them, I never did this, that's awesome. I wonder how long they stay up there for. It's a lot of them. Hey guys, if you ever come to Nomad's Lounge and you see it, tag me on Instagram. It's right up there. Oh, 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 oh. This is fun to watch. It's like a carnival game. <laughs> there we go. My message is now forever in Disney. If it's your first time coming to Nomads, I definitely recommend you come outside though. Like wait for a table. It's definitely worth it. It's very relaxing. I mean, during the day, you can see like all the little characters come through here. The only downside to this whole Nomads bar slash lounge is that it's very very expensive. Well, not okay, it's not super expensive, but I spent $40 just on myself right now. The last thing on my list to do today, Tree of Life Garden. I mean, we're celebrating Earth, right? I'm sure a little bit later in the month, we'll have some special characters meeting right over here. Tinkerbell and characters from The Bug's Life were here not too long ago. But yeah, normally, as in right now, it's super duper relaxing and peaceful. Just a nice little walk definitely takes you out of like the park element, the hustle and bustle. Oh wow, I've seen them before, but the kangaroos are just kind of chilling out in the shade right now. It's funny that they actually live over here. The tree of life, all the different animals on it. Look at that. 
Hello, birdie. I want people to let me know down below what is your favorite animal? On the street, per se? I'm not too sure. I like the octopus. Is that an octopus? It's giving lemur for me. Yeah, just a little walkway, nothing too crazy. Overall, can't complain. A nice return to the parks. After a week of not vlogging and not being around Disney that much, I miss it, you know? <laughs> it's proving to me that I'm not ready to stop YouTubing anytime soon. Because I love Disney. I, I, I love this life. I really appreciate you guys. Like, it's because of you guys I can just come here every day and enjoy the little ducks I'm vibing. They're sleeping right now. Also, I think there's actual lemurs over there. The King Julian guys. Oh, wait. Yeah. Ring-tailed lemur. I did not know they had lemurs out here. They're over there in the distance. I don't know if you can see them. Here's a closer look at them. It's so crazy. His tail's just like sticking straight up. Green, yeah. And what would green help him do? Blend in. Yeah, definitely help them blend in. But what colors are these guys? Uh, yellow and black. Yellow, black, kind of some orangey yeah, red there too, right? Yeah. So do you know what it means when an animal has those bright yellow and red colors? Yeah. So it's kind of a warning color. So that's gonna let them know that they shouldn't mess with it. So these guys are actually toxic. <laughs> so by having those bright colors, other animals know, hey, don't mess with me. That's crazy. Those are grasshoppers. They're massive. They're native to Florida. Oh my goodness. And they're toxic. Just like my ex. <laughs> I don't have an ex. Not really. I don't know. Okay. The video's over. That was just a joke. No real tea. Joke. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. I did film this vlog in 4K. I don't know if you noticed the difference. If you did, I would love to hear your feedback. I could do more 4K videos in the future. Obviously, it's a little more work on my end, but if I could give you guys a better viewing experience, I don't care. Look at the big duck, or is it swan? I don't know. His, his beak looks a little different than everyone else's too. <laughs> I <can't, laughs> I've never been so close to this guy before. By the way, I didn't want to go on at least one ride, but the shortest wait time is Mount Everest at like 45 minutes. So, I'm gonna go home. I don't have to do everything in one day because I live here. Every day is a blessed day to be alive. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.